Why does humor help boys to learn? For all people, laughing has been shown to have important physiological benefits. However, male humor has characteristics that seem to pose challenges for learning for parents and teachers. They often see boy humor as a distraction or diversion from the work that has to be done. But ignoring a boy's funny bone for learning keeps you and him from using his tremendous power to help him learn with passion and success. So what is male humor? Well, for younger boys in particular, it's often referred to as silliness. The word puerile, which means juvenile, silly, childish, actually comes from the Latin word meaning boy. Much of that juvenile silliness seems to connect with the slapstick approach to bodily functions or gross images, painful mistakes, and even violence. It can sometimes appear insensitive or inappropriate in social or learning situations. The exaggerated nature of male humor helps engage and motivate boys. Slapstick and ridiculous physical comedy stimulate the right brain neural wiring that boys have for movement, and much of the cartoonish or violent humor uses movement as a vehicle for laughs. But there is more to it, according to evolutionary theorist Alistair Clark. He has written that the recognition of patterns was essential to the survival of primitive humans, and that humor developed to help them to deal with the surprise that occurs when a pattern is interrupted. Especially for males, whose neural wiring is designed to help them perceive changes in their environment, the surprise inherent in humor can help them to focus better on a concept or skill. Beyond this, however, humor is a way for boys to establish emotional connection with others. Females more easily express their feelings in words because of their evolutionary drive to build relationships and the natural complexity of their neural wiring for speech. This allows for their emotional processing to take place in the more advanced frontal lobes of the brain. Research has demonstrated that boys' emotions are processed initially in the more primitive parts of the brain and come more indirectly to the speech centers. That's why it's often so hard for many boys to orally express the complexity of their thoughts. But in the same way that a heart-to-heart -heart chat about feelings can bring girls together, a quick joke can do the same for boys. Essentially, it means we understand each other in this moment. It allows boys to express that they care about someone or something. Finally, humor also helps males when they are afraid. Many of the problems that I have observed with boys who are having trouble in a learning situation have to do with fear. But humor can be an effective tool for self-esteem when they feel challenged. So think about the boys you know and how they interact with humor. What do they find funny? In future videos, I'll explain to you some techniques and strategies that you can use to help leverage humor to help boys learn with both passion and greater enjoyment. Thanks for watching.